In Matthew chapter 6, it says, Who by worrying can add to their life? Pandemic. Do not worry about tomorrow. Pagans run after these things. National emergency. Philippians 4 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. My sheets are melting so fast. They dismiss a lot. An interesting fact about humanity is that whatever you feed grows. A financial pandemic. If you feed your faith, it grows. If you feed your fears, they so grow. It's all spiral very quickly. It's going to get worse. Some have to live and some have to die. Realize that our time is better spent talking to the Father than getting all worked up and reading and feeding our minds with the news and the media about what everybody is saying about how this is doom and gloom and how money, which we have hoped in, is lost. Hope not in money. Hope in your Father, your God, Jesus Christ, your Savior. Have your faith and use it. Walk according to it. Whatever you feed grows. This is the time to press into the church, lean into the church, to be surrounded by God's people. We can offer prayers for one another. We can offer hope to one another. We can speak words of truth to one another. If you feast on the word of God and you renew your minds around the truth, your faith, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But if you go to the news and you read article after article after quote after talking head and you continue to feed those fears, they grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Whatever you feed grows. Today, did you wake up this morning and feast on the word of God and go to him in prayer? Or did you feed your fears?